Good morning everyone. It is Sunday and this is half eight in the morning. Uh, we've just claimed those five beds. So at half eight there's still there you go, seven beds there. And there's a load up there. So bed situation has been easy this morning. Okay, it's time for breakfast and um, I'm not feeling too hungry today. I just want some cereal so Gonna have to bring that down again and use their milk. Good morning. Bed's right there. <laughs> all right, if you look over there, that is all the inflatables that are left when guests leave. Uh, so they're all free game, yeah, and that dragon is very popular, as you've probably already seen. Alright folks, we're down early in the sunbed, and just thought we'd do a little video and a little chat. We're um, eight days in. Yeah. So. so just thought we'd do a wee chat about what we think about the hotel, and um, what, sorry, the apartments. They're not a hotel, but yeah. we keep calling them that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's all different packages. It's self-catering, you can do bed and breakfast, and you can do half board. So we're on the bed and breakfast package. Um, self catering wasn't available to us whenever we were booking it, so we must yeah. not have had any of those types of rooms left. Yeah, um, from Manchester there wasn't. They, they had the rooms left because, but from Manchester with the EasyJet, you couldn't get uh, self catering. It was bed and breakfast, and I don't even know if it was half board. Was there to the upgrade to? Uh, yeah, no, you could have. You, you could have added yes. it on. Yeah. But our family from Belfast got they, self catering. Well, they're in a bigger room than us. They are, yes. So they're in a True. one bed apartment, Could be um, that, yeah. which we Four of them. will hopefully um, get a chance to film before we all go home, because we all go home on Tuesday. Yeah. So if anyone wants to see that, then hopefully we'll get a look at that too. Yeah. Um, like the beds and all in our room are really comfy. They are. And yeah. cleaned every day. We've had clean towels every day. Yeah. Um, like the pool itself is fabulous here. Great pool. It's a it really is. good size pool. Great pool, yeah. And nice uh, and warm. Yeah. Especially in the afternoons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like we've read about people not getting some beds, but I think we've shown a few clips now on this that you definitely can get some beds here. Like we're out now, it's ten o'clock and easy I can spot about ten or fifteen some beds still left. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. And it, it 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 varies, you know, some days it's really easy, other days it can be a bit difficult, but you can still get beds. Yeah, we've still know. got them every day. Yeah, um, so it just depends. Certain days, change over days. Some days people have trips booked because you yeah. know, families have, of course, come out. You might have big groups of 10 or 12, you know, that mightn't be here. It just depends. Yeah. You know, but the room, our room's lovely. It's one of the remodeled rooms. Yep. I say the beds are very comfortable. Um, the air conditioning, I was a bit worried because it's on the room key. It's welded to the room key, that, you know, the in the card slot so your aircon isn't activated when you're not in the room so I was a bit worried about that. And you can't put anything else in the slot because no. we did try that too. I did try. But um, <laughs> before people in the comments yeah. are like oh just put something else yeah. in. Um, yeah. But you can't but I tell you what we come back at night put the key in the slot and in about 10 minutes it's cooled yeah, it's the room 10 minutes significantly. Start, yeah. 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 It's, it's, ours is really good it's one of the newer models whereas um, our family my brother and everything their room it's it's an older block of rooms and it's an older air conditioned unit and he just keeps commenting how good ours is when he comes over so theirs, theirs just th takes a wee bit longer takes to longer. Kick in. yeah it takes yeah. longer but um it does cool down yeah uh, so but yeah so I've no qualms about that but I no. thought I would so yeah the shower the shower is, it's got a very narrow spread if you know what I mean it's a very narrow spray it doesn't and have a big shower head that's, it what, that's what yeah. the issue is yeah. so I'm just like that's the only thing I can honestly complain about. The Listen. rest is great. The fridge and all is great. Everything's beer, ice cold, and you can make your own ice with ice uh, trays and everything. So I'm, there's, I can't complain. If I can wash my wig in that shower, then you should be fine for first sake. Yes, uh, yes, I know, that's <laughs> it. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. um, so like we said, we're here bread and breakfast. Um, the food in the morning, it's it's very limited. There's Basic like two, limited, yeah. two different types of cereal, cornflakes and like Nesquik. And then um, there's like some cucumber, tomatoes, cheeses. Um, cheese is good actually. Yeah, the cheeses are nice. Actually um, tasted. Yeah, yeah. and good. scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, and special turkey sauce. Weird turkey red, sauce. red turkey sausages Saucy. that everyone hates. Yeah, 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 it's not very nice. Yeah. Um, but the 
actual like scrambled eggs. I think I've said this before as well. They're my favourite because okay, they're yeah. really proper homemade proper. scrambled eggs. Yeah. And and the the bread that they all complain about that it's it's little tiny. It's a little crusty loaf like, cut up. A tiny one, yeah. I would like proper bread there or a bit of variation. I would prefer a normal loaf to be honest that you can just run through the toaster and then you can make proper toasties at least you know you can make yeah. a nice egg sandwich or something yeah. but the jams and everything are really good you have butters, jams, Nutella as well out there so. And as you saw like even though we're we were here bed and breakfast we did bring some cereal from home yeah Um. so if you have a cereal that you really like just do that we've mm -hmm. also brought our own like coffee Um. I'm then just being like using the milk because the coffee's a bit weak for me. Um, I like a certain type of coffee. So. Speaking of weak, the juices, oh, the yeah. orange juice is like, it's practically water. So. Yeah, so again, we brought little, uh, those little squeezy shot things yeah. of juice, um, cordial. So we've just been having that in the morning yeah, as well. Yeah, in the morning. So, like it is, it does it save you a bit, like, you know, you, and it yeah. fills you up till yeah. lunchtime anyway. Yeah. So, in summing up then, would you stay here again? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, it's well worth the money. Yeah, and yes. we've raved about it so much that my sister has booked to come here next year with her fiance. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah it's really um, good. It, it is book. Good, yeah. You know, it's it's in a brilliant location. It's very clean. It's comfortable. The food that you buy here is good. Reasonably priced. Yeah. Drinks reasonably priced. Uh, you're only five minutes walk to the beach. And I don't know Great if food. we have said like, but all we paid for this was. £515 per person for bed and breakfast for 10 nights. 10 nights, yes, and three people, sure. Yeah. From Manchester, so like worth every penny, in my opinion, for yeah. what we paid. There's free child places as well, and some of them, if you book the self catering part, so someone coming away with a family, you know, it, it, it's pretty affordable. Oh, we've looked for next September, and it's it's reasonable too. Yeah, yeah, it's um, that's when my sister's coming, she got a really yeah. good deal for next year. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. But um, I'll leave it there then, folks. I've afforded you enough. <laughs> All right, it's quarter past one in the afternoon. We've left the hotel and we've come down onto the main street. On our way to the beach, and Julian has spotted these. It's like Pimp My Crocs. Yes, Rick and Morty. Love it. <laughs> Love it. They're cool. They are good. Yeah. I don't wonder about Crocs over here. I got mine. They're 10 pounds. And they're they're fine, honestly. Mine are genuine. Yeah. <laughs> well, the ones I bought from Aldi were six pound. They definitely weren't genuine, but they were still comfortable as well. But yeah, I thought I'd get nicer ones. Yeah, we're gonna head down, head to the beach. Which you can get to the beach most of the places along here. The streets all running at the side of every hotel or apartments, and we'll maybe grab something delightful. Who knows? Just a closer look at some of the trainers at uh, some of the places they don't look very good to be honest but i think they're pretty decent prices i think you can get them for around 25 to 35 depending on the make and if you're getting them fake nikers that are 170 i think they'll be a bit dear about the 35 mark there's some nice adidas ones there some dolce and gabanas Quite nice. Burberry. And this is what she's went for. Joaquin Phoenix is Joker. Elmo. Elmo. Oh, yeah. I was thinking it's a cookie monster with his red. <laughs> Smurf. Smurf and yeah. then <laughs> the, wee, the wee boss from Who Runs the Krusty Krab. There you go. <laughs> In Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> and that was from Flannelis. Um, they do really nice trainers in there. A great range of crocs and sliders and everything. Bags as well. But the trainers in there, I have to say, they're some of the best looking ones I've seen. Those Adidas uh, X750s were uh, 20 pounds which is, is pretty good so tomorrow will be a big splurge day uh, because we'll know what money we've got left for going home so that's just on the main the main road here and you're just across from Carlo's restaurant and bar Carlo's steakhouse over there 
All right, we made it to the beach and it's definitely warmer today. It's really, really warm. But I am in the mood for something black. This man promised me the proper draft Guinness, and there it is. So the Guinness tap, and we're gonna have a Guinness on draft. That's it, there, there it is. <laughs> Can't fake that. Okay, we're here at the Irish pub Marmaris along the beachfront, and we've seen it on draft Guinness. So welcome to the afternoon delight, and what better afternoon delight than this? You know, looking forward to trying this. We've seen the kegs. It says he flies them from Dublin. Let's have a go. Don't care about domage or anything like that. I'm just glad they get a pint of draft gun. Don't involve like front players often enough for me. Like you know, they seem isolated all the time. Enjoy your Guinness, brother. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, that's refreshing. Very refreshing. Ice cold, which I'm really liking today. It's about 38 degrees. That is spot on. Oh. I did get one as well. Yes, Jolene's already tore into hers. I, I, wait, I waited patiently for this here, you know. Oh, this is great. You don't really hope for anything. Oh, I might have to have a couple actually, then more than one afternoon delight, maybe several. That's the Irish pub on Marmor's Beach front, just up from Blue Bay Platinum. Looking good, baby, looking good. Oh, it's your scoop. It's Dan hot in here, I'll tell you that. Even the Guinness isn't really me down. It is really warm today. But it's our best. And just so you know, the Guinness in here is 180 Turkish lira, which works out at 5 pounds 30. But it's worth it. It's proper draft, you know. And it's nice. Julian has got herself a toy boy. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yes. You can have her, mate. There you are, you pay for <laughs> That's proof it's real, Guinness. It's still settling. So, what's better than one afternoon delight? Two. Definitely, I agree. <laughs> We have a fantastic model here in the worst bar in Marmaris, the Irish pub. <laughs> Where you can drink at 8 in the morning. Yes, I like that, I like that. <laughs> and great Guinness. Okay, just leaving the Irish pub. They also do the buy one get one free. Hold on, around the right side Chris. Cocktails, locals, imports and frozen, which is great, you know. In the evening it's a bit of a party bar as well. Yeah. Entertainment, all of that. Yeah. Um, I have to say, that was a fantastic afternoon delight. It really was an <laughs> afternoon delight. Beautiful, it was really good. beautiful. So, oh, time to go. Copyright. Tit sweat is real, people. <laughs> and marmorous. It's Sunday, so that means one thing Sunday roast. And after seeing Lisa's roast beef dinner here last week, we've come back for one ourselves. Looking forward to this. First thing I'd like to say is I'm absolutely disgusted with Jolene. She's just put mint sauce on her potatoes. Like, come from Northern Ireland. We don't do that. That's an English thing. What the hell is going on? I said she likes it. Just added more. What? Anyway, I'm a big fan blowing on me, so I've got my muff on. Um, <laughs> but we just want to talk about this roast beef dinner. Um, it was gorgeous last week. Lisa let us try some. But, like, the beef literally falls apart. You just pull it apart like that. Fantastic. Spuds are good. Yorkshire's good, vegetables are good, everything is bloody great. Mm. Mm. Oh, that gravy, magic, just proper beef gravy, really, really good. Oh, this is, you got this anywhere though, this blows away a lot of carberries to be honest at home we went to. Haven't been to Toby's yet. I haven't been to Toby's Carvery, but 
Yeah, went a few. This is this is much nicer. There's a lot of places to do the roast beef dinners and marmers. I've had a couple before and they've been just okay. This we, we came back to Sweet Corner because how good this was last week. Amazing. Anybody right across from Blue Bay Platinum, if you want a good roast beef dinner, come here and have it. You can have a chicken dinner, lamb dinner, or you can mix all three beef, lamb and chicken. Highly recommend it. Clear plates all around. That was definitely a really, really good Sunday roast. I loved it, as yeah. you can tell. Even yeah. the mint sauce. No, it's a good no, addition. no, no. It is a good addition. No, I, I tried some of the spuds of mint sauce on them. It was like a mojito had <laughs> spilt on my plate. No thanks. And as an added bonus to your Sunday lunch, roast beef here, you get apple pie and ice cream. The ice cream and the apple pie, they're really nice. Yeah, they're really good actually. Good, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can't taste any cinnamon, which is a good thing. Thumbs up for no cinnamon. It doesn't look quite like our apple pie at home, but no. it's good. No, it doesn't, but uh, ice cream's good. The roast beef dinners worked out at £13 each. Money well spent in my book. Jolene and I were just mentioning how we haven't been back to the tipsy dance bar after last year. After Jolene's fantastic karaoke <laughs> session. So good. I love it over there. We really have to get back. We've only one more day after today. So maybe tomorrow night. Well, or maybe tonight. Who knows? We'll wait and see. Because it's Sunday. And that means Sunday club. So... Well, that early, the let her dinner get down us for drinks. So, we well, haven't had a real messy one since, I don't know. Middle of the week, maybe? Maybe middle of the week. Last night with quite a few, but by the time we ate and had drinks, it didn't have the desired effect, should you say? Yeah. Bob went for our authentic Turkish cuisine at the restaurant up here. I uh, well, not mean to pop in. Yet again, we're going to miss out on doing so many things we wanted to do. Why does this keep happening to us? Because Turkey's too amazing. Happens in Vegas and too. so many people <laughs> to see him. It's like... There's even more to do in Vegas. Yeah, but here in Marmaris, there's so much to do. So many nice places to eat and drink. That you just end up missing the places you want to go to. You do, yeah. But we're going back to the hotel. The rest of the family are going to go down there for the sweet corner again for roast beef dinners after. But we're going to catch the F1 race. And we'll watch that. Well, this is the second one of Adam's cocktails. He took one sip and just gave it to Jolene. So, <laughs> must be bad. 14.4% volume, but what is it? Watermelon and, and strawberry? strawberry the there you hands. go. Well, it's it's two nice really flavors. Strong. Right, okay. Don't get that in your dress. Oh my god. That, that is that... rotten. <laughs> Holy shit, you played that down so bad. <laughs> just sipped it and like give it away. So we're just heading down, back down to Sweet Corner because Chris's brother and sister-in-law are there with the girls and we're just gonna meet them for a few drinks and yeah. see where the night takes us. Yep, that's a take it from there. Adam wants to be shopping tonight, but we're going to the bazaar, the bazaar tomorrow. tomorrow so he can't, he needs to hold on a bit because the bargains are down there to be had. But anyway, he wants to spend some money. It's burning a hole in his pocket. But um, more to the point, my mom, mother and father and I'll be very happy I'm wearing this. They bought me the, <laughs> they bought me this from India like six years ago and I've never wore it so <laughs> but it's so hot and it's 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 great it's just like a throw over thing. <laughs> so yeah, but it shows off a bit of the chest wig, you know, which is but anyway, there we go. Still look good, babe. Nice and early, that's the main thing. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, we forgot to mention that uh, we're out for Adam's birthday celebrations for his 19th. And he looks so excited. <laughs> He's ordered sex on the beach. He had about too much to eat and drink last night, so... I'm sure after a couple he'd be alright, eh? But, uh, Twister Daiquiris from last week, straight on them again. They were fantastic. Jolene's went for the margaritas with no salt this time, because the last time put a bit of salt in it and you were near sick. So, so playing it safe tonight. Yep. Yeah. Twisters are gone. So we have a a blue Hawaii on the way. Or two blue Hawaii's because buy one get one free. So I'll let you know what they're like. Yeah. So they're not as nice as Mara's Beach. Just saying. Well wouldn't be surprised Mara's Beach is the best cocktails probably. But these are buy one get one free. Well there you go and that's it. And they're a lot dear you know 
Mars Beach. Yeah. They've arrived. I don't know where to stir them. Do you stir them? Well, I would stir them, otherwise you're just going to get a bit of that blue caracal or whatever. Alright, so that's the alcohol. Stir, stir, stir. See, this is sweet, not too strong. I would say sweet and strong, but that's, that's quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> Adam said he doesn't get embarrassed. <laughs> 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 hey, at least you got free kicks. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> we are back at Patman Bar. Trying to replicate last Sunday, but I don't think anything ever will. It was magic. And the energy levels are a little bit lower today. So we're asked for a table outside, I think. I think we're maybe going over here on the beach, which that sounds pretty cool. I still get to see all the shows, listen to the music, just not blasting in your drums. Yes, how cool is this? On the beach, look at this, bringing chairs in for me. This is awesome. Yep. Yes, I'm not leaving all night. Look at the size of the glasses of wine in Batman Bar. They are massive. Like a, a spoon of wine. It is. <laughs> And since it's Adam's birthday, we've ordered a fish bowl for him, for him and Amy to have, and whoever else wants it. We asked for the barman surprise. You can ask for anything, but you have to go with the barman surprise, don't you? So this should be good. <laughs> Down in the beach here, just outside Batman Bar. Just don't get sand in your shoes, Chris. That's all I ask. Look at that, isn't that beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Moon over Marmaris. Beautiful. Just sit and watch the world go by. And here it is. In no time at all, the fish bowl is down. Just don't set far. <laughs> awesome. Awesome guys, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Look at this. That is massive. You <laughs> All right, Katie's gonna try the fishbowl, the barman surprise. See what she thinks. What do you think? <laughs> kind of sour and sweet. There you go. Sour Very and good. sweet. Brilliant. That's a better review than Adam. Said he didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Katie. <laughs> For a man that didn't want to drink, eh? You know, he's, he's looking all right. <laughs> See, this is what I was expecting when I ordered Adam's fish bowl. It was a bit of a show, and then it just, it just came out with a firework in it. I want this man here to come down like this. Well, maybe this is the real fish bowl. <laughs> I've just given and just bought the Guinness tonight. Don't care if it's a 5 or a 10. We're just going to drink it. Look at the size of the wine. It's already said that anyway. They've done very well with the fish bowl. Very well. No heads on the table, please. Tell your drinker all of it. Oh dear. Chris Brown's on. Darn's favourite. There we go. Dancing away. Yoo! Kids have done great here. 
they're not underage, I mean they're actual 18 year olds, but they've done very well with this fish bowl. Well done kids, well done. On the second happy birthday to the second bar. Happy birthday! That's what he needs after oi, a fresh bowl. Another cocktail. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi. Hey. Very successful night out on the beach at Batman Bar. So good. Everyone's heading back to get food from Tasty Bites. I want a Domino's though, but I can't remember where Domino's is. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna have a bit of an issue. I'm just sitting inside Domino's here. I've never had a Domino's in Turkey and I've ordered the original crust and it's a pizza called the Extravaganza and there was literally everything on it. So I was like, yeah, that will do. The rest of them are around in Tasty Bites because they wanted chippy chips. So that's fair enough. So I'm gonna grab my pizza, then I go and try and find them and they'll probably be gone by the time I get there. So who knows what will happen here. All right, got my dominoes in hand. They give you a plastic bag here, which is very interesting. Um, so the large pizza, which is the third pizza up, original crust, is 220, which is about 650. So that's very good for dominoes, I have to say. I don't know what it is about turkey, but they barely put any tomato sauce on their pizzas, even if you get a Turkish pizza or like a normal pizza in one of the Turkish shops, and even dominoes, like it's literally bread with cheese and toppings so I'm having to just dunk in the garlic but what do you do? Okay.